Hello everyone, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Uh, my assistant here, Bella, and I are going to repl be replacing this faucet. Um, I guess you can't see it right now because she's kind of in the way. But um, if you watch my video about repairing a leaky faucet, this is the faucet. We attempted to repair this faucet by putting a new valve in it. But this faucet wouldn't come apart. It's so old and everything in it is seized up and it just won't come apart. I'm going to move Bella here so you can see it a little bit better. i get her on my lap here. Hopefully she'll stay here if I hold her a little bit. Uh, but we're going to replace this faucet today and uh, show you the, uh, the procedure that we go through to uh, remove the old one and replace, and replace it with a new one. And uh, hopefully this will go a lot better than our faucet repair uh, video did. Like I said, it didn't go too well because we weren't able to fix it. So if you want to get a little chuckle on my account, maybe you want to watch that video. There are some good tips in it. And we hope you enjoy our videos. We would really appreciate it if you would click like on our videos and subscribe to our channel. Uh, our channel is pretty new. We don't have a lot of videos right now. But we literally have several hundred ideas already written down that that we want to move on to and get some good videos for for your homeowners inside and outside the house to save you some money. So we really hope you enjoy our videos and stay tuned for faucet replacement with Do It Yourself with Wayne. Now I don't know how much help I'm going to get but we'll see. Come on. Okay, we're going to start this project by turning off the water to the faucet. You do that under your sink. Your sink will have two water cutoff valves underneath, one for hot, one for cold. And you need to make sure you turn them both off. Now mine are pretty easy because they're just quarter turn. Yours may really require more turning than mine. Uh, they may look different, it'll be a different style. But you will have two water cutoff valves under your sink, one for hot, one for cold. In my case, I just twist them like that and that turns off the water to my sink. And also while we're under here, uh, you may notice this white stuff around my pipes. That's a product called Great Stuff. Uh, it is a uh, expanding foam product. Works very well to seal the cracks around your pipes. A lot of people will have trouble with mice getting in their house and that's one of the prime places for mice to get in. There's typically some space around those pipes and it's big enough for most small mice to get in through. You may also get insects coming in through that space around those pipes. Uh, like I said the product that I used is called Great Stuff. I'm not necessarily recommending it although it works very well but uh, get some kind of expanding foam and seal around your pipes, in your kitchen sink, in your bathrooms, anywhere you got a pipe or an opening in the floor that you know insects or mice can get through, and it'll stop them from getting in your house. Okay, here we are. We're under the sink. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm pointing out. These screws right here are the screws that actually mount the faucet to the countertop. You take those loose, and this metal plate most of the time will just fall out in your hand. So you don't have to take these nuts all the way off, just loosen them enough that plate will come off. You also need to loosen the thing here, which is the, uh, uh, goes to the plunger to open and close your drain in the bottom of the sink. You need to loosen that. And your water lines, you don't take those off up here. We'll take those loose down at the water cutoff valves. It's much easier that way. Okay, here we are. We're on, we got two sinks here, and this is the other side. I wasn't happy with the video that I had on the first side. So when we're doing the second side, we got two sinks in our bathroom. Uh, we're redoing this part, so it looks a little different than what you saw a few minutes ago, but it's the same kind of setup. Uh, I've already turned the water off on both valves. You may not be able to see the one back behind there, but it's also turned off. Now what we're going to do here, we've got a bucket under our drain because you're going to lose water here. This, this P-trap is going to be full of water, probably full of crud and stuff, a little icky looking, so just be aware that you're going to have that. We're going to take this loose, we're going to take this loose, this will drop down. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, and most of the time you can get these by hand if you got a good grip. Okay. If not, you may need a, a pair of vice grips or channel locks or something. But a lot of times, you know, you can take these loose just with your bare hands. Uh, but like I said, if they don't, I see the water coming out. not full of crud which was nice okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our, uh, our valves loose here our water lines loose if I can get in there to it I'll take it loose got a little bit of water on my hands and everything's going to slip now might have to get a different pair of pliers, but uh, that one's loose. I can take it off. There's that. Got a little bit of water from there. We're going to take the other end loose if I can get to it. Unfortunately, my camera's kind of in the way here. a good pair of adjustable wrench or something in here with me. This would make it a lot easier. Oh, I think I got it turning a little bit now. Okay, now it's coming off. that one. Now the only other thing we got to do under here is take this off. Just loosen the screw up. That will come right off. The plunger in the back or the uh, If I can get it loosened up. I'm going to get that loose. But the, um, turn this so you can see it. This part has to come off too. So you unscrew that. If you can see what I'm unscrewing here. That comes out. And this part should unscrew from the top part. And of course this one doesn't want to. There we go. Now we got it coming off. It just unscrews from the part that goes in from the top. This part was on the top, and that just unscrewed from there. Y'all, you can always y'all also see how nasty this is. Uh, so we're going to replace all that. Okay. So there you go. Now we'll clean all this stuff off. The old plumber's putty's got to come off. We'll throw that away. We'll replace that. And uh, start putting some stuff back together. Okay, now at this point I have disconnected the water lines from underneath this sink. And uh, I have disconnected or unscrewed the screws that bolt it to the sink. 
that should have been shown in the previous photograph. And uh, now Bella and I are going to pull this thing up and out of the sink. Uh, with everything loose, it should come up without too awful much trouble. It might be a little bit of a pain, but there it is. That's the whole thing. Uh, this is the contraption that gave us the trouble with the uh, video about dropping a leaky faucet. So this is what we're going to replace, and uh, we'll show you the new one here momentarily. Okay, this is our new faucet. We chose a Delta. Uh, single handle faucet. Uh, I'm not recommending one brand over another. Uh, I like Delta. I like Peerless. Uh, there are other good quality brands out there. This particular faucet cost me about $50 in a local hardware store. I could have gotten a cheaper one for about $30, but when it comes to this type of product, I believe that buying a good quality product is worth the extra money because in the long run they will give you less trouble. So we're going to open this up and I'll get the parts out and I'll show them to you. Okay so now we got our box opened up. We got all the parts out of it. We got the new faucet. This is it. Really nice single handle faucet. I like these. Uh, this is what we'll be installing in this sink. Uh, it also comes with a new drain for the bottom of your sink as well as some parts for attaching that drain and making it function properly. We will be installing those parts as well. Uh, most important thing is it comes with instructions. Um, I'm not a licensed plumber. Y'all probably know that by now, but if you don't, I'm not. So I don't do this every day. I'm a, do, I'm a DIYer. And uh, so it doesn't hurt to read through the, the instructions a little bit, just to familiarize yourself, even if you've done this before. Take a look through the instructions. At least browse through them a little bit to get yourself familiar with them. You may see Tater over here. He's my little white cat. He doesn't get in our videos as much, but uh, come on. He does get in here occasionally. And uh, you'll see him once in a while, not as much as Bella, but you'll see him occasionally. But basically, that's what comes in the box to replace this faucet. We've got the faucet itself, the replacement part for the drain. We'll use our own water lines because they're in good shape. If they're not in good shape, this is a great time to replace those. Um, and I would also recommend that on your cutoff valves underneath your sink, when you were turning the water off, did they turn easily or were they really difficult to turn? Uh, if they're really hard to turn, you may want to consider replacing those as well. Uh, a little more trouble, a little more expense. You'll have to cut off your water at the main, uh, the main where your water comes into the house. Uh, but if those are old and not working well, if they're hard to turn, now's a good time to replace those as well. We're not going to do that here because ours are working just fine, they're in good shape. But uh, if yours need replacing, this is a great time to do that as well. Okay, at this point, I've got everything apart. I took the time to clean this, and also down here around the drain hole, we got all the drain out. There's nothing down here now, it's just a hole in the bottom of the sink. Um, but anytime you're doing this, take the time to clean that really good. Uh, here and down in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, if you've got uh, water deposits, um, lime, scale, whatever on there, if you don't clean that off, it can cause problems with water getting in where it shouldn't. It may cause leaking problems in the bottom if you don't clean it good, so make sure you clean it well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start putting the drain together. Now this is the new drain that came with our new faucet. We're going to take this apart we're going to put silicon sealer around here. Hopefully we won't get a cat's tail in the silicon because that has happened before. Uh, but we're going to put uh, silicon around here. Uh, comes in a tube something like this. There's different brands but this is some I had on hand so that's what we're going to use. But I'm going to put silicon around here. This will go on the top. This will go up from the bottom and screw in. 
and we'll screw it in all the way like that and then we'll turn this part right here up until that rubber seal right there if you can see it there until that seals against the bottom of the bowl and at that point we want to make sure that this part points straight back because that's where the arm for the plunger to raise and lower your, your uh, stopper for the drain goes in. It's got to, that's got to be pointed straight back. So when we get this tight, we've got to make sure that it's oriented like this so that this part points straight to the back of the sink. Okay, at this point, we've got our drain in the bottom. Um, got silicone on it to seal it, got it tightened up from underneath, got the little plunger in it uh, for sealing the, uh, the bottom of the sink. And now we're ready to put our faucets on. Um, one thing that's a little bit tricky about this, if you haven't done this before, you'll notice I've already installed my water lines to the bottom of the faucet. It's a lot easier to do it now than it is under the sink. So go ahead and take the time to hook up your water lines, the extensions that go down. Make sure they're good and tight and you're happy with them before you put this in the sink. Now, these screws, you put them on these shafts to start with. Then when you put this assembly down through the sink, these screws will extend through the holes and you've got these washers like this. You may have had a washer just like it that you took off the old one but under the sink, you slide that on there like that, and then you tighten the screw up to, se to secure the faucet to the sink. And uh, before I install this, I'm going to put silicon around here. Now in the instructions, and I did read them, it said if your sink is not even to put the silicon on there. Uh, I always put silicon on them anyway, because over time, if water sits around the base of your faucet, that water can get under there, get into your countertop, and can possibly cause rot and mold issues and things of that nature. So I strongly recommend that no matter what, put some silicon around there. You've already got your silicon out because you had to have it for the drain in the bottom of the sink. So go ahead and take a couple minutes and put a bead of caulking, I mean a bead of silicon sealer around here before you put this on your sink, just to make sure that you don't get water underneath this into your countertop. Okay, at this point, we've installed our drain, we sealed it around the bottom, we installed our faucet, we sealed under it. We put our plunger rod in, connected it up, uh, underneath we connected our water lines and we turned our water on. We've got cold water, we've got hot water. We can stop it and the water doesn't run out. Um, that looks like a, a good DIY project. I think most uh, do-it-yourselfers could accomplish this. Uh, a couple things I would recommend. Uh, have some paper towels handy. You're going to have some uh, silicon sealer to wipe up from time to time. You don't want to do that with a towel or a wash rag because it tends to not come out of stuff like that. So have some paper towels handy. Uh, underneath your sink, make sure you got a bucket under there to catch water that drips out. When you're taking your, your drain off, uh, particularly, there's going to be a good bit of water in that drain down in the trap. Uh, so make sure you got a bucket to catch stuff. Um, as far as tools, I think these are the only tools I used in my silicon sealer. Um, now I did use some a rag at the bottom to be, uh, soak up some water that I spilled. I did use some paper towels. Uh, I did use some Comet cleanser and some scrubbing pads to clean here before I put my sink on. And uh, she didn't help a bit, but she gave a lot of moral support. Yes, she did. So basically, that's it. Uh, I think it's a project that most people could do if they're inclined to. You don't need a lot of tools. Um, 
if you're an old person like me climbing under the sink to do what you got to do under there is by far the worst part. Uh, it's not terribly expensive and you can save yourself a lot of money. And that's what do-it-yourself with Wayne is all about, is saving you money by doing things yourself that you can do. And uh, we'd love for you to click like on our videos and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of upcoming videos and uh, we'd love for you to join us as we move along and grow this channel. And thank you very much for joining us. We hope you have a great day.